and you have to fill in the blanks, okay? So some of the words are gonna be down at the bottom, okay? Some of the words are down at the bottom, so we can, um, I'll go over those and pronounce them so you can hear them. All right, but I don't wanna give you the answers. All right, so wars, wars, Footsteps. Okay. Rome. Window. Families. Claudius. Priest. What's a priest? You don't know? Okay, so in the Catholic Church, the leader of the church is a priest. Right? You call him Father whatever but actually his job is a priest, okay? Daughter. 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 That's a hard one. Okay, and then jail. jail. Carcel, right? What is the name Claudius? Claudius, that's a name. It's a name, okay? Claudius is a name, good question. Who you say? Which one? Family? Yes. Families. Families. Rome. It's a city in Italy. Yes. I know. It's Italian. It's an Italian city. That's where the Pope lives. El Papa. El Papa. Okay, I was like, I don't want to call the Pope a potato, but I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to read... And you fill in. So some of the blanks are these words, and some are verbs, so you have to listen. Okay? All right. And this is a story about St. Valentine. This is the story. I didn't know this. Okay? All right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Valentine. I lived in Rome during the 3rd century. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, at that time, Rome was ruled by an emperor named Claudius. Rome was ruled by an emperor named Claudius. I didn't like the emperor, and I wasn't the only one. I didn't like the emperor, and I wasn't the only one. wasn't. Uh-huh. Okay. Ready? No? Yes? Okay. Claudius wanted to have a big army. He expected men to volunteer to join. Many men just did not want to fight in wars. They did Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll read one paragraph, un parafo, at a time, and I'll, I'll repeat it if you need it, okay? So, uh, they did not want to leave their wives and families. This made Claudius furious. So what happened? Claudius decided not to allow any more marriages. Okay, so I'll read it again. I'll read that paragraph again. Claudius wanted to have a big army. He expected men to volunteer to join. Many men just did not want to fight in wars. They did not want to leave their wives and families. This made Claudius furious. So what happened? Claudius decided not to allow any more marriages. You didn't know? I know, me neither. This is very interesting. Okay, ready? Yes. Next paragraph? All right, here we go. Did I mention I was a priest? One of my favorite activities was to marry couples. Even after Emperor Claudius passed his law, I kept performing marriage ceremonies. Secretly, of course. Okay, I'll read it again. Did I mention that I was a priest? One of my favorite activities was to marry couples. Even after Emperor Claudius passed his law, I kept 
performing marriage ceremonies. Secretly, of course. It's an irregular past tense verb, kept. Kept. Mm -hmm. Okay. It means like continued. In this. It's not here. No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Karina, no, it's not on the bottom. No. <laughs> okay. One night, while I was performing a marriage ceremony, we heard footsteps. It was scary. The couple I was marrying escaped, but I was caught. The soldiers threw me in jail and told me that my punishment was death. Okay, ready? I'm going to do it again. One night, while I was performing a marriage ceremony, we heard footsteps. It was scary. The couple I was marrying escaped, but I was caught. The soldiers threw me in jail and told me that my punishment was death. Death. Yes, la muerte. You need it again? Which one? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is funny. Oh, oh, oh. Sister? This one. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, sister. Okay, I just need this one. Okay. One night, while I was performing a marriage ceremony, we heard footsteps. It was scary. The couple I was marrying escaped, but I was caught. The soldiers threw me in jail and told me that my punishment was death. All right, threw is an irregular past tense verb. You might look on your orange sheet. Threw. They threw me in jail. Okay? And then star, star of the face, and then Claudius planted his in. Yes. Okay. So the paragraph above, right? Paragraph one, two, three. Did I mention I was a priest? Uh -huh. One of my favorite activities was to marry couples. Even after Emperor Claudius passed his law, I kept performing marriage ceremonies. Secretly, of course. Okay. Cut. Kept. Kept. <laughs> Kept, kept. In this sense, it means continued. He continued to perform marriage ceremonies, even though the emperor said no. Right? Okay. All right, we're going to do one, two, three, four. Paragraph five. Okay, paragraph five. It starts with, I tried. Okay, you know where we are? All right. Mm -hmm. I tried to stay cheerful, and do you know what? Wonderful things happened. Many young people came to the jail to visit me. They threw flowers and notes up to my window. They wanted me to know that they too believed in love. Okay, I'll read it again. I tried to stay cheerful. And do you know what? Wonderful things happened. Many people came to the jail to visit me. They threw flowers and notes up to my window. They wanted me to know that they, too, believed in love. Got it? Okay. <laughs> last, last paragraph, all right? One of these young people was Augustine, the daughter of the prison guard. Her father allowed her to visit me in the cell. A cell is like the room in the jail. Like your bedroom in the jail, okay? Sometimes we would sit and talk for hours. I was scheduled to be executed. Okay, this is a long one, so I'll say it slowly. On February 14th, February 14th, 269, so that's the year, 269 A.D., Okay, so the I was scheduled to be execute, executed on February 14th, 269 A.D. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and we'll talk about the date. Okay, before they took me from my cell, I left Augustine a little note thanking her for her friendship. I signed it, love from your Valentine. Before they took me from my cell, I left Augustine a little note thanking her for her friendship. I signed it, love from your Valentine. Okay, what paragraphs do you need repeated? There's one, huh? The last one, okay. Last paragraph. One of these young people was Augustine, the daughter of the prison guard. Her father allowed her to visit me in the cell. Sometimes we would sit and talk for hours. I was scheduled to be executed on February 14th, 269 AD. Before they took me from my cell, I left Augustine a little note thanking her for her friendship. I signed it, love from your Valentine. All right, what other paragraphs do you need? One, okay. Let me introduce myself. My name is Valentine. I lived in Rome during the third century. At that time, Rome was ruled by an emperor named Claudius. I didn't like the emperor, and I wasn't the only one. Okay, any other? Wasn't. 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 Uh huh. Okay, you ready to check it? Mm. Let's do it. <laughs> The second one? Okay. Claudius wanted Claudius wanted to have a big army. He was expect he expected men to volunteer to join. Many men just did not want to fight in wars. They did not want to leave their wives and families. This made Claudius furious. So what happened? Claudius decided not to allow any more marriages. All right, we're gonna check it. Check, check, check. Let me zoom in. All right. Okay. All right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Valentine. I lived in Rome during the third century. At that time, Rome was ruled by an emperor named Claudius. I didn't like, did not like, right? Past tense, simple present, past tense. I didn't like the emperor and I wasn't the only one. Wasn't, okay, was not. Claudius wanted to have a big army. He expected men to volunteer to join. Many men just did not want to fight in wars, wars. They did not want to leave their wives and families. This made Claudius furious. So this is the past of make, make, made. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happened? Claudius decided not to allow any more marriages. Okay. So Claudius was like, can't get married. Can't do it. Did I mention that I was a priest? Priest? One of my favorite activities was to marry couples. Even after Emperor Claudius passed his law, I kept performing, kept. So that's the past of keep. Okay, keep, kept. So that means in this sense, that means he continued to perform marriage ceremonies. Okay? Secretly, of course. All right. One night. So this is like, look, you can see uh, was performing. That's past continuous, right? So he's like setting the, he's telling a story and it's like the atmosphere, okay? One night while I was performing a marriage ceremony, we heard footsteps. It was scary. The couple I was marrying escaped. 
but I was caught. The soldiers threw, threw me in jail. Okay, so past, past tense of throw. Throw through. Mm -hmm. And told me that my punishment was death. I tried to stay cheerful. And do you know what? Wonderful things happened. Many young people came to the jail to visit me. They threw flowers and notes up to my window. They wanted me to know that they too believed in love. Yes? Okay. One of these young people was Augustine. The daughter, D-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. It's a hard one to spell. The daughter of the prison guard. Her father allowed her to visit me in the cell. Sometimes we would sit and talk for hours. I was scheduled to be executed on February 14th, 269 AD. Okay? AD, good question. All right, so. Two, no, not 2,269. Okay, so when they started, like, tracking the years, right? When people were living in caves, Cueva? No, caves? When people were living in caves, they were like, oh, it's 2021, right? They didn't do that. So when they started tracking the years, they had to decide how do we count the years, okay? So what they did was they put year zero. This is the year Jesus was born. Okay, so year zero is the year that Jesus was born. That's what they decided. That's when history started, okay? So they, in Latin, Anno Domini means year of our Lord. Lord is like, uh, re, oh, senor, yeah, year of our Lord, okay? So that's what this AD means, that this was, 269 years after Jesus. Okay? Before, so like when Moses and Abraham, like before, they use, um, sometimes it's B.C., which means before Christ. Okay? Um, so this is obviously Christian, right? So like now people are trying to use a different one so that like if you're not Christian, you're not like tracking your years by Jesus's birth. So now they're using a common era, common era. So sometimes you'll see this CE and then the one before is BCE before the common era. Okay, so this AD means 269 years after the birth of Jesus. And if it was BC, then that would be 269 years before. Okay? It's an interesting, I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, it's also interesting to me that they think that they know exactly the year that Jesus was born. Because... <laughs> They don't, but it's okay. This is how we count things. So 2021 is 2,021 years after the birth of Jesus, right? That's the, that's the idea. Okay, okay. So it is interesting. So before they took me from my cell, I left Augustine a little note. Yes, um, to Dulce, say to let you in the building, just go ask Cecile in the office. Yeah. Um, before they took me from my cell, I left Augustine a little note thanking her for her friendship. I signed it, love from your Valentine. Okay? This is a true story. It's real. <gasps> I know. It's so cool. I didn't know this. So this is why we celebrate Valentine's Day. Not just love, but friendship. Amistad, right? Not just love, but friendship. Okay, um, 
You know what? We need to do our macrame class. If we have time, we'll do this, but let's do our macrame class. Okay, so. your things. Okay. All right, Noelia. Macrame keychain. So you're just going to clip the keychain on like the center one so that way because a lot of you have to like knot it okay so that'll keep it still all right so you have two long white strings right does someone have a really short one no yours is long Amelia yours long okay good so what we're gonna do is it short? Okay, let me get you a long one. Is this longer? They don't have to be even. No, that's short. Okay. They're going to be, uh, we're going to cut them, but. in half. The long, the long one. Either one. You're, you're going to fold both of them in half, but just do one, okay? Yeah. So fold your white cord in half. Mm -hmm. Put it behind, okay, behind your metal ring like this. Let's see, can you see? Yeah? 
Let me get the color. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay that they're not even. Yeah, it's okay that they're not even. Um, just for now, yeah. We're just getting it set up. Okay. So you're going to put it under the metal ring. Oh, yeah, that doesn't move. Let me get your uh, Here's your notebook that you can flip. Oh, yeah, that'll help. Okay. <laughs> All right. So put it under, and then you take the two ends. Okay, wait. Sorry. So we're going to put it under the two ends. And you put them through. Okay? So it makes a knot. Yeah? Okay. So this is called, here, I'm going to tell you, a lark's head knot. I'm doing really basic macrame knots, and once you get these knots down, you can do a lot of things with them. Okay? So this is called a lark's head knot. Okay? Lark's head knot. Okay, questions? We good on that one? All right, you're going to do the same thing with your second white string. Do the same thing. With the second one, not the pink one, the second white string, you're going to do the same. So you put it under, under the metal ring, and then you pull the ends through. Okay? So now you have two knots. Oh, I did. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay. Put it under. And then. Oh, it must have flipped. It flipped on me. The keychain flipped. Okay. So, yeah. Just do it under. So, both under. Okay. So, you should have something that looks like that. Yes? Okay, okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to practice making square knots. So square knots are flat. Okay, this is what a square knot looks like. All right, a square knot. And it's actually just two knots. It's two knots. Okay? So the outside cords, okay, the outside cords are your working cords, the inside cords are your filler cords, but uh, yeah, no. yeah, filler cords, okay, all right, so you're going to take your right outside cord and cross it over like a four, okay, yeah? Okay. Take your left cord, put it over, okay, like this. So now it's going to go under the working cords and through the hole in the four, okay? So the first cord you did is over. The second cord you did is under your filler cords. Oh, it's under. Over, under. One is over and one is under. Okay, so I'll do it again. All right, so you take your right cord, you cross it over like a four. Mm -hmm. The other cord is going to go over, under, and through. Okay? All right, pull it. So now you can pull it, okay? That's the first, that's half of your square knot. Okay? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. All right. You're doing macrame. You're so 
other half okay oh. so what you're gonna do is reverse it so oh. now we take the left cord make a four okay put it over you're gonna take the right cord go over under and through and what about your... <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's do, okay, so the second half, this is part two of the square knot. So you take the left cord, make the four, okay? Take the other cord, it's gonna go over the four cord, under the working cords, and then through the hole in the four. <laughs> so you do right, left right left yes so that makes yeah okay so literally y'all this is like a very basic macrame chord and once you what not once you get this knot down you can do a lot of things with macrame okay let me see did you get it <laughs> yes that's it okay so now you do the right again the four Okay, let me take pictures. This is so fun. So these are called square knots. Miss, if you can notice if you if you do the the right test two times, you can notice or not? I'll show you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the older scale? Uh, so those are just, oh, wait, wait. Okay, wait. So you always, okay, so these are your working. Fill it, sorry, fill it.
so what are these called? Well, oh. macrame, square, <laughs> square knots. These are square knots. Yes, all right, so that's what you're doing right now, where you do one side, the other side, one side, the other side. Okay, if you want to do a spiral, so look at this fancy knot, okay, it's really easy. All right, so you've done the square knot. So the spiral, that's what this shape is called. You just do one half of the square knot. So you only do the right square knot over and over and over again. You don't use the left. So to do the spiral, let's say I wanna do the spiral this way. So I'm gonna do the four, pick up the right cord, do the four, okay? So if I was doing a square knot, I would do the left now. But if I want to do the spiral, I'm going to do the right again. Only the right. Only the right. Yeah. So you only make the four with the right side. And then it starts to spiral. Okay? Yes, but Miss E, I you may Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, yes, Noelia. I'm Question. The, 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 the With the square the knots? Yeah. Okay, if you like the square knots, then you can just watch. Yeah. Or, actually, well, I don't know that I have enough. I don't have enough thread for everyone to do another yeah. one. I, I You're so fast! I was expecting you to take a lot longer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes. If I forgot what Sarah's name is. No. <laughs> yes. This is. Nancy will help you. My assistant. So, okay. So, if you want to do the spiral, you can combine them. You can do both at the same time and do a, like square knots and then a spiral. All right. So, Karina, to do the spiral. No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> So to do the spiral, all right, working cords, filler cords, yeah? Okay, so take, make a four with the right side, okay, go over, under, and through. Okay, so there's like a mouth that's like eating the filler cords, okay, and so then pull it. Okay, so now to do the spiral, you're just going to do the right side, only the right side. So don't do the left. That makes, a, that makes a square knot, which is straight. So if you want the spiral, you're only going to do the right. If you want the spiral, you only use the right side to make the four. Look at you guys learning English, learning macrame. I love it. All right, I need to finish taking my pictures. Nancy, oh. fancy Nancy. Okay. And then what you do and then when I finish this. Okay, I'll, I'll show you how to finish. Yes, we'll do all that together. All right. Why oh, you move so fast? Yeah.
okay if it doesn't match exactly. Okay. I'll have to, okay, I'll show you guys some of my projects. That's good. Okay. I'm not finished. I'm finished. You're finished. This is not even. We just need, yeah, we just need to use this and then we'll cut off the end. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I did a spiral. <laughs> Questions? Everyone's good right now? Don't, don't say. You're I like that. done. Okay, good. It's okay. Here's what I like about macrame. Once you get the knots down, you don't have to think that much. Like it's just very relaxing. Yes. Like you can just do it over and over. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yes. I know. It's really relaxing. So the cord can be a little expensive, but you can like you can use anything. You can use yarn. You can Water use day. yeah, Water like day. uh. Home Depot and Lowe's have like cotton cord that you can buy. So you can use anything. And there's lots of free patterns online. Yeah. Yeah, like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but their stuff is expensive. Really? Yeah. Oh, the hair for Alicia too? <laughs> hair? <laughs> Ew. No. Do not macrame hair, Karina. Ew. Did you make a note? A what? No. So right now I just have him like like I'm ready to do another knot. Okay, are we ready to finish? Okay, you guys went so so fast. I like was expecting this to take a lot longer. Okay. This part might be a little confusing, but it will help you finish it and it'll look good. Okay. So co collect all your cords, right? Collect all your cords. So just like this, we're gonna do like the fringe on the end, okay? So all your cords, all right. Take this one end and put it facing up, okay? One end facing up. All right, and then you're gonna make a U Okay, so it's like a U. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now you can start wrapping. So you're going to wrap the pink cord real tight. Okay? Real tight around the bottom, around the fringe. And just leave the U and the, the little piece, the tail, la cola. Okay? That's what they call it, the tail. Okay. Okay, so wrap. So I'm wrapped. So I have my U and I have my tail. Okay, and I've wrapped it. So let me know when you're done. Okay. <laughs> I'm wrapped. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, well. I know, it takes some like, okay, so yeah, do that. Make a U. Here, do it up here. That's a short little piece. Okay. Okay, so then just come around and start wrapping. Oh, yeah. So you just wrap the U, wrap the tail. Okay. The U needs to be short or long? It doesn't matter. As long as you can, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. So where's the 
we don't have an expert. And then you can press right there. And then you can press the Okay? Okay. So when you're finished, when you're finished, you have your U, you have your tail, mm -hmm. all right, and then you have the long piece that you use to wrap. Okay, so you're going to take the long piece that you use to wrap and put it through the U, mm -hmm. put it in the U. So take the long piece, this is the one that I was wrapping, okay, so I say, okay, I'm finished. I'm going to put it through the U, and then you pull on the tail. Okay? Through the U and then you pull on the tail. Okay, so then we can cut them. And it won't unravel. And then I'm going to cut them. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah, you could like make a, a little clip yeah. right for the pacifier, like the babies. Mm -hmm. You can make a little clip. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So here, Noelia, you can cut. You can just cut this now. Cut that the pink part right there, and then make your fringe wide as you want. separate cords, then you can do that. Or you can un untwist them, okay? And that'll make it like fringy, like this, the little, okay? Some people like that look and some people like just the cord. Good job! Oh my gosh, you okay. guys went so fast. I have a little bit of question. Yes. I don't know if you use all the information, but for email, the this three day Right. Computer. Uh, tablets or yeah. computers at home. 
Registration. Oh, registration for, for next year. Oh, the next year. Yes. Yes, registration for next year. Okay, so let's do some macrame vocabulary. Okay, so. Macrame. It's a French word. Macrame. Macrame. Okay, so we learned the first knots that we did to put the strings on the keychain. That was called a lark's, this is a bird, a type of bird, lark's head knot, okay? And then we learned square knots, square knots, square knots, okay? That was the flat one. This is a square knot, the flat one. Okay, and then to make the spiral, you do a half square knot, because you're only doing one side, right? Right, 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 not right, left, which is square knot. Okay, so this one is half square knot. And then, let's see, I'm trying to think of words that I want to give you, so if you want to go home and like look up macrame. Um, fill, okay, so working chords. And then filler chords. So on our keychain, we had four chords, right? These were the working chords, the outside ones. And these were the filler. And then let me, um, 